Hello and uh, welcome. My name is Paris and I will be your teacher today. If this is the first time you're here on my channel and you want to learn more with me, then don't forget to subscribe my channel on the thing below. You can do it right now. So let's starting to open our PowerShell. You need to open up here and say PowerShell. And in here we want to go for the enter the P session. Enter the PS session. And it's Active Directory 01 and we are in and I want to go for the C drive. Inside here I want to see about the server having the feature uh, Windows Backup. So let's get Windows feature and see about it installed. And it's already installed here on, on my server. If you don't have it installed yet, you can just say install Windows feature and then windows server backup and we need to include all the sub uh, features and we need to include the management tool and then install the next step we need to do is we need to create a first policy so what how you do is just say dollar sign policy is equal to new vb policy and to confirm we have the policy you can type the, the variable again and now you can see we have the policy the next we want to do now will be to add the system state uh, change the system state here for true and we can do it to, to type add vb system state policy and our policy here and we can go down here again and see the system state policy is turned to true now. Now we need to uh, tell which uh, volume we want to back up. So let's uh, type uh, get VB volume and then all volumes. And then we can see which hard drive we have in. If I open the folder here, you can see. It should return C and D. You can see D and C. I have the bigger one to, to have the snapshot on. And this is my uh, primary drive. So I just put it in here. And now I want to say a new, uh, a new variable to call it get VB volume. And I want all volume. Uh, oops, where mount uh, path is equal to C and to confirm what I have done is right I can just type the volume again and now we have target the, the backup volume to C the last thing we need now is just to add the volume to our policy so how I do this is just say add DB uh, volume and the policy is policy and the volume should be our volume and then we should have the right volume if you do this and you can see the volume to backup should be the C drive. The next thing we need to do now is uh, target where we need to place the backup. In our case here, we want to back up the volume. The backup volume should be get VB volume or volume, and it should be where mount pass is equal to. It's equal to D. And we need to confirm this, so I say back our volume as the target is D, so that's perfect. Now I want to say back up, uh, back up target is equal to new EB back up target, and the volume for this should be our back up volume. And backup target 
it's here so that's perfect the last thing we need to do is add the backup target to the polishing and here we go so now we have uh, if we just say polishing we should have the backup target is a D and the volume uh, to backup should be C and the next thing we need to do will be a set up a, a schedule so we know when the schedule should run you can set up the schedule just to type set VB schedule and then the policy and our policy and then you need to say when the schedule should run I would say 3 and Six and nine and twelve. So I will take a, a, a frequency backup three, six, and nine and twelve o'clock, and then I will edit. And I need to be the policy should be here, and here is the schedule for backup. To be sure everything here is uh, working well, then we need to uh, set VB policy and policy and a policy. If you don't do this, it will not work because that's what is confirmed the policy. So the system will be, be activated and be back up. So now it's working. So if I go in for a backup manager here. It should be displayed inside and it's here so that's perfect if you need to start the <clears throat> the backup the first time you can just uh, say start VB backup and then the policy we have creating it and then the policy here and then we should starting it you can if I move my window a little bit here it should uh, coming up here it's taking a, a little bit and then it will be there so here we go back up and creating the shadow copy of the volume it will continue and it will be finished thank you so much for watching this video i really hope and i really appreciate if you want to subscribe my channel here you can do it to put it on the link below and i hope you want to see and learn more from me thank you so much and remember to share this video with your friends thank you for your time see you next time